Hello everybody, my name's Bill and I know stuff. And what I know today is a free and easy method to record your Quest video directly onto your PC. Doesn't require any money, doesn't require any USB cables, and lets you record directly to your computer from your headset. It's free, it's easy, and we're going to get it set up right now. Let's get this done. One big advantage of this method is that you are not using any of the hard drive space on your headset when you record directly to your PC. It speeds things up and you're not using that uh, memory on your headset, which is great, especially if you like to record a lot. To make all this work, you need OBS, which is open broadcast software. You can go to obsproject.com, download it and install it. They have Windows, Mac and Linux versions all available. The other thing you're going to need to do is be able to cast from your Quest to your PC. Now this is well documented on Meta's website. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to do that. The one thing I will tell you is that your headset and your computer need to be on the same Wi-Fi router. Even if you're using a wired connection, so long as they're on the same router, this method will work. But they have to be able to see each other. Uh, there's plenty of help for that on the support.oculus.com website. The other thing you want to do is go ahead and go to oculus.com and casting. You'll need to be logged in for this, but once you are, pull this page up and then you can move to your headset and we'll get started casting. Once you've got the Oculus casting page up, Go ahead and get on your headset and fire it up if you haven't already. You can do this in game or in the lobby, doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick this up in a game. And so go ahead and pull up your Oculus menu and hit the sharing tab. And then you're gonna to go to cast. You'll see I'm recording right now so I could get this, but you're gonna to go to cast. And your choices on here, you probably only have two unless you have a, a Chromecast device that you've been using. It'll be Oculus app and computer. You're gonna select computer and then next. So select computer and then next. And then it'll say it's casting. You'll get a little icon and you'll see it on your display now that it's casting on there. If you look on your computer display, you'll see it. You can go ahead and close out that Oculus menu and just keep doing whatever you were doing. Now you'll notice it's in a square format and it's not taking up the entire page. Go ahead and hit, hit the cog icon right there. You see it says widescreen. This actually crops the top and the bottom of the video a little bit. It just gets the center area of interest. So you won't see everything. You want to, if you want to get audio, you want to select that so you can hear it. And if you want to capture your output audio and you're not using another audio source, you may want to click, the, click your speaker icon, speaker coming out of there as well. But we're not going to do that. Now, the last thing we can do is we'll we can make this full screen but before we do that we're going to go ahead and set up obs so you can see what happens when i select record display uh, and whether it's full screen or not go ahead and fire up obs yours will look something like mine won't be exactly the same i've been using mine for quite a while and what you want to do is you want to add under scenes, you're going to add computer display. I already have one. It's linked to something else. Let's call it computer display two. Click OK. You'll notice there's nothing on the screen because there's nothing associated with it. Go to sources, click plus, and we can either do a window capture if we want to get the entire window or display capture. Now you may want to play with these. I'm going to go ahead and do window capture and we'll just call it window capture. Good enough. And you see what comes up. So it's, it's grabbing the Oculus window and it sees 
the outside bit of that. So you'll actually be recording that. You can crop it if you want. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and just say record that for right now. So what you see is what's being recorded. We're actually getting the outside of the browser window. Now let's jump back to the Oculus page. And if we make it go full screen, and now I gotta jump back to OBS. Now it's gonna be in a full screen. You're gonna get that same full screen format. So whatever we see, whatever we do, it's all gonna get recorded in that widescreen format. And so what you see, so the next thing you're ready to do is go ahead and start recording. Once you click record, it'll record whatever it sees on the screen. We'll go ahead and do that. Let me get a little bit of a file going. So we have something to review after we're done with this whole thing. Now we've got some buddies. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop recording. So we have recorded from our headset to our PC and we'll be able to look at that and do whatever we want with that video footage. We're still casting from our headset as you can see even though we're not recording it basically what the headset sees you see you can to stop casting you're going to click the sharing click casting and click stop casting and that's the entire process right now Let's, uh, we've done that, let's go take a look at our video and see what this looks like. OBS records with a date and a timestamp by default. This is the one we just did. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Uh, VLC player, now I recorded on a different audio track. I believe it's three. And there we go. Looks good, sounds good. That is not the highest resolution video you can get, but it's free, does not require anything else, and it's easy enough to share. And that's how you do it. If you find this video useful, please think about subscribing, hit that like button. It'll recommend me to other folks, and I can use all the friends I can get. Y'all be good.